smack them a go and bang bang pizza skulls what's up everybody i am here with another episode of currently cranking in the month of june 2022 and uh here's what i've been cranking this month now i bring this up in a future episode but i'm gonna bring it up again um my nephew little man got me this and um my version is, I mean, I talk about it in a future track by track, but I'll, I guess I'll say it again, in case you miss it. Uh, this is the first Kiss album I ever bought. My version is pretty much unplayable. So he got me a good version, man. I mean, this, he found it for cheap, called me up. Yo, uncle, you got this? I was like, well, I do, but I can't play it. He's like, well, I found it for cheap. Want me to get it? I was like, yeah, little man. My nephew's the shit and my niece. I love them. I love my familia. They look out for me and I'll look out for them when they need me. Um, there you go. Thank you, little man, again. Um, this is the latest Liam Gallagher album. I already put up a review of it. And uh, so I'm not going to say a word about it. Check out the review. This is an extremely special CD to me. Onslaught, Killing Peace. I'll tell this story for the millionth time. I said, I said it a million and two times. This will be a million and three. Um, my friend, William Barter, Triple X Horn Angler. I mean, no, that, that was the bass player. He was, um, God, what was his name? Hell Vomit Sodomizer. Uh, he wanted to start a thrash band back in 2006 or seven, and he called me up about it. I was never, I never thought I could do anything in thrash. You know, this, you know, I bought this soon after, and I heard this in my car on the way home, Onslaught Killing Peace, with the uh, title track Killing Peace, where he's spitting blood in the face of God. I was like, shit, I can do this. So this album started me uh, to start a musical career where I ended up touring the world, South America, where in two trauma movies, countless, I, I, I know five people with thrash or die tattoos. Am I bragging? He damn right I am. And I can go on and on and on. Headline in front of 8,000 people in Colombia, all because of this. Beautiful. And I had him on the Vieira Vault, Nige, the, the, the main guy in this band. I interviewed him and I told him my story and he was very pleased by it. All right, the next one is a masterpiece. Quadrophenia. My God, this album is just timeless. It's a timeless album, man. Uh, I'm One, The Real Me, The Punk Meets The Godfather. My God, there's so much good stuff. This whole album, really. Um, and I've Had Enough, Love, Rain Army. Beautiful. Masterpiece concept album. All right, I listened to this one quite a bit, so I might have played, I might have had this in a past Currently Cranking. This is a compilation of like B-sides of Motorhead, where there's two songs on here that are completely different called Under the Knife, which I believe the title was inspired by Twisted Sisters Under the Blade because Lemmy was a huge Twisted Sister fan. And uh, there's some live tracks like Too Late, Too Late and uh, Dead Men Tell No Tales leaving here. Stone Dead Forever All Live, but then the uh, the B-sides are like Dirty Love, uh, Remember Me, I'm Gone, uh, and then it has Bomber with Girl School and Don't Do That with the Young and Moody Band, Master Plan with uh, Wendy O, No Class with Wendy O. No, Master Plan is a plasmatic song that Motorhead did, and then the Plasmatics did No Class, which is a different version than the one that's on Coupe de Ta. Stand By Your Man was just uh, a duet with Wendy O and Lemmy. Rest in peace to both of them. They were so awesome. Man, this is a great one. It came in the Volume 4 box set. This is live uh, in the UK 1973, which is basically the full version of Live at Last. And man, does this rip. And I love how the cover has Mr. Bill Ward. My all-time favorite drummer. Uh, Union, the Blue Room. I know a lot of people won't agree with this. 
but I like this one in the first album. I do. I think it's they've come a little more into their own. And uh, this band was underrated. The first album's great, and I have the live and the Galaxy CD. Love me some Union. This is with John Karabi and uh, Bruce Keelick. Yeah. Fucking great album, man. Road to Ruin, the, the Ramones. Um, I just want to have something to do. Uh, needles and Pins, I'm against it. I want to be sedated. Questioningly. Bad Brain, I mean the whole album, Smokes. Wasn't this the first one with Marky? I think it was, I could be wrong. Yeah, it is, it is the first one with Marky. Great, fantastic album. Very underrated, man. I listened to this quite a bit, so again, like the Motorhead, it might have been on a Curly Crankin' before. Flotsam and Jetsam, Drift. It's not that thrashy, but it's metal, and it's amazing, smoked out. Probably my favorite on here, Me is amazing, uh, Missing, Blindside, Destructive Signs, mellow but amazing. Um, just an amazing album. I love me some Flotsam, Flots Till Death. And uh, speaking of that, how it's a thrash band but it's not such a thrash album, here's a thrash band where I think this is the only album they kind of got away from the thrash, but you know, you have songs like Just Like You. That's kind of thrashy, but this is a little more doomy, overkill, I hear black. Very underrated. I know it got a lot of shit when it came out, but now, as years gone by, it's gained a lot of respect. I've seen a lot of people online show a lot of love to this album with uh, Dreaming in Columbia, I Hear Black, World of Hurt, uh, Shades of Grey, Spiritual Void, Weight of the World. Amazing. Love it. Just like you is probably my favorite outfit. Oh, uh, here's one I haven't heard in a while. I did watch the, the, the Blu-ray. This brings the Blu-ray. But it br brings the CD. I actually played the CDs. Man, did Jason Bonham deliver or what on this? The Led Zeppelin reunion celebration day. The band was on. You know, I mean, the thing about Led Zeppelin is that, like they, every time they reunited, it was like a train wreck. Live Aid, that Atlantic, uh, you know, anniversary show. And, you know, Led Zeppelin does get a lot of grief for being a sloppy band live. They ain't sloppy at all on here. It starts a little rocky, even though it's not that sloppy with uh, Good Times, Bad Times and Ramble On. And even, but by the time, you know, Black Dog kicks in, the rest of the show is just pretty much flawless. Of course, Robert Plant doesn't sing like he used to, but he sings damn good on this. Celebration Day. I saw this in the theater too. That was great when I saw this in the theater. Um, love it. Absolutely love it. And boy, Jason Bonham, man, kills on this. All right, there is a future episode about this. I want to thank J Man who got me this. This is the latest um, off the soundboard from Donington 1996. I'm not going to talk about it. Here's the deal I made an episode on this. But I've been getting so many donations that include KISS that I have to put them up on KISS Wednesday. So this keeps getting pushed back and back and back. But eventually, I will be talking about what I feel about this album. So stay tuned. This is, and I know a lot of people will not agree with me, but you know, I know a lot of people, I know some people will. The last Sepultura album I liked. I didn't like Chaos AD, and, and, and everything after was even worse than Chaos AD. Arise, my second favorite, right after Beneath the Remains. What an amazing album, man. Dead Embryonic Cells, Desperate Cry, Altered States, Under Siege. I love me some classic Sepultura. Oh, Mr. Jackson Routing from, from uh, Canada. Got me this, man. I made a, an episode on um, Eric Adams, my favorite singers. And I said, man, when I held this out, a CD up, I said, man, did this come out on vinyl? And sure enough, it did. And look at the, look at the artwork. It's just awesome. I love this shit. I believe this was uh, art from uh, the guy that did... Um, Gary Kearney or something like that. The guy, he just passed away. He did 
Destroyer. I think this is him. It might not be. Um, but amazing stuff. Um, not too crazy about this one, but man, Metal Warriors, Burning, The Power of Thy Sword, The Demon Whip, Master of the Wind. Bring this, the lyrics. Really cool. And not that I care, but still, it looks nice. Red vinyl. Beautiful. Jackson, I love you, brother. You're, you are so fucking cool. Is it true, Jackson, that if you're if you're a dick to anybody in, uh, in Canada, you go to jail for life? I think that's what happens in Canada. That's why everybody's so nice. They fear, uh, they fear going to jail. So they, they're just nice. Love it. I am a man of warrior, and I'm damn proud of it. Here's a bootleg. This is Judas Priest live at Hammersmith Odeon on the British Steel Tour. This is maybe a radio broadcast. I don't know, but it's live album quality. It sounds like an official release um, where you have uh, Hellbent for Leather, Breaking the Law, Sinner, Beyond the Realms of Death, Grinder, Victim of Changes, Green Man Alishi, Living After Midnight, and Tyrant. Yeah, I know it's not the full show, but man, this is great stuff. And this was off of Metal... Metal Memory is the name of this bootleg company. And yeah, it's like, you know, it's like a really cool thing, man. Love it. All right, here's something that I haven't stopped playing since I got it. Man, I'm a rock believer. And this is like the, this is the, uh, the extended version, which let me tell you, man, these, these bonus tracks are amazing. Um, shoot you shoot for your heart when tomorrow comes unleash the peace when you know where you come from the acoustic version Love it. My favorite on here is seven Sun, but Seriously, there's not a bad song on here. This album is amazing. I did an episode on it Like a month or two ago when I first got it and I still can't stop listening to it uh, I have more thoughts on it, but check out the episode All right, some creator Enemy of God. This one is one of the better ones from their later stuff. I understand they got something coming out soon. Um, I've heard some bad things about the opening single. I haven't seen it yet because I'm kind of like, oh no. But I'm going to wait till I hear it all before I pass judgment. But this is awesome. This one is badass. Uh, World Anarchy, Dystopia, Murder Fantasize, man, Dying Race Apocalypse. The Ancient Plague, Enemy of God, great creator album, love it. All right, I want to thank my friend um, Eric, who got me these next four albums, and I listened to them all, and I love them all. Four killer Elvis Presley albums. This one's live at Madison Square Garden. This one's uh, February 1970 on stage. Um, Live from Memphis and the first one. Man, I love me the Sun Records, Elvis. And as I'm filming this, the Elvis movie comes out tomorrow and I plan on going to see it. And uh, I should have, maybe I'll have a, a, a review of it. But I've been hearing good things about it. I've seen the, the previews look cool. And yeah, I've been uh, peeking at some people on YouTube that already seen it and everybody's giving it a glowing review saying, the dude that played Elvis deserves an Oscar, so even Priscilla said that. <clears throat> All right, we're down to the last two. And I'm going to end it with a bummer. So, no, I'm not going to end it with a bummer. Why would I want to end my video with a bummer? Let me do the bummer now, and then the last, the last currently cranking. This is a bummer. Uh, Wasp, I bought this, man, uh, re-idolized. I know it's been out a long time, but I, you know, I saw it for very cheap on, on eBay and I said, you know what, it brings the Crimson Idol movie, so yeah, I'll get that. Man, the movie is just unwatchable. It's just terrible. It's not even a movie. It's just images with Blackie talking. But the worst part of this, even worse than the movie, and I already knew about this, so, was the editing. The, 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 how, how he just like censors himself. Uh, Chainsaw Charlie, you know, it's, it's just horrible. 
So I really don't recommend this. But yeah, to tell you the truth, you know, I'm not a big fan of Crimson Idol. I love Hold On To My Heart. I love The Gypsy Meets The Boy. Is that the name of it? Yeah, and I love Chainsaw Charlie. Yeah, the first one's okay, though. Uh, you know how it starts. But that's it. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not ending it with a bummer. I'm ending it with this. This band is really cheesy. And I love them. I have the album We Reserve the Right to Rock, which is cool. But a couple years ago, I saw them at a pre-crew show. And they had another CD, another album out. I had it all signed from the Petrucci sisters. And uh, it's the original lineup uh, with Godzilla on bass and that singer, man. He was great. Uh, Brett. Brett Kayser. Um, really good. It's uh, it's not as cheesy as we reserve the right to rock. And I was really pleasantly surprised how good this CD is. I love me some Madam X, but yeah, I know it's pure cheese. And uh, the whole band signed it for me because I met them after they played. That's it for the Currently Cranking this month, my friends. And again, thank you, little man. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Jackson from Canada for some of the... Uh, editions of my currently cranking this month awesome and Jackson's got a CD coming in sorry Jackson I'm recording this before he got in he told me it should have been here before the Man of War but it hasn't it's probably gonna be here tomorrow and I'll have it on next month's currently cranking so thank you so much everybody for watching and if you like to donate I got a PayPal in the description below and please subscribe to my channel if you have not bang bang pizza skulls that notification bell Right on, everybody. Stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath. Support live music. Fuck bands that use tapes. Yeah, unless you're unless you're into the fake, then that's your deal. And smack them a gob. Bang bang pizza skulls.